All right, so here's my snowmobile trail. I don't know what that says, but it's got a snowmobile and an arrow. So I'm familiar with these trails. I can tell you these trails are pretty rough. And this, <laughs> oh boy. This goes into my soul ship searching that's been done on this trip, which I'm talking about in another video. I'm kind of shooting that that content as I go through this whole day of riding and talking about what am I actually doing with all of these little play bikes and getting into situations like this. So I don't want to continue on about that in this video. We'll talk about that in that video. So look for that content elsewhere on my channel. It'd probably be titled something like, what am I going to do with my Honda Monkey? Because <laughs> that's kind of the question. All right, so let's get back to what we're doing here. We are going through some seriously rugged trails, just for fun, just to put the Honda Monkey through the test. And I have no objective really in this content, right? So my objective isn't really to do anything in this video. I don't have anything to prove. The Monkey will go through all this stuff. I've done it before and I've kind of outfitted the bike to do it so we're just going through and having a good time having a monkey adventure doing a little puddles here gonna do this bridge see if I can one lane it oh boy got it almost maybe fell off the end just enjoying some super rugged terrain on the monkey actually not so much <laughs> it's enjoyable I don't want to get you wrong don't get me wrong, should I say. It's it's always enjoyable to be out on a motorcycle. But after this week of doing this stuff, I've been doing this for over seven days solid now. Probably going on like day nine of doing this stuff. I'm just completely battered from doing it on bikes that I don't really, uh, that are not made for it, so. I don't know, I don't know how much I'm gonna put the monkey through after this trip here. It's uh, it's totally not the bike for it, but it's almost like a fun accomplishment. Like, can you do it? Can you do stuff on bikes that aren't made to really do that stuff? And kind of sounds silly, but it's fun to figure out. I, I know it though, I know they can do it. So, um, yeah, we'll just cruise through some rugged stuff here and I'll highlight some fun stuff we're doing. We're going through some deep mud and running over a frog by accident. Whoops, hopefully he slipped between the two knobbies that went over him. Probably not though. Do a little bit of a rock climb here. Oh, that's a Terminione pipe pit. Dang. Whoops. Okay, got another bridge crossing. Can I do, can I one lane this one too? Nope. The tires are fat enough to make it through though. But when I took that bridge with the trail, the tires are so skinny that they, they went in between the slats. <laughs> I got, had to put my feet down and ski through it. All right, so I gotta stand up through this technical section here because it's just too bumpy not to. It's, these things may basically turn into creek beds when it rains and they just water rushes down them and digs out and ex excavates all these rocks. But it's tough standing up on this bike because the foot pegs are still the stock ones which are rubber and as soon as your shoes get wet or god forbid they get muddy you're gonna slip straight off these pegs so that is no bueno. You don't want to slip a peg especially when you're going fast or landing off of a jump. I've all but effectually stopped trying to jump this bike because of the frequency of slipping off the pegs. <laughs> now we're gonna take the high road up here. We gotta come down to the low road. 
so I got some good perspective this week riding these trails well I didn't take the trail 70 on this trail but I took the trail 125 on this trail this exact same trail the other day I have content for that you can find it on my channel oh I was gonna take that high road challenge there but logs get super slippery and there's a good contrast between the bikes that I've been riding this week on the similar trails and the trail 125 is a clear winner as to the what bike to choose to, to take on the trails the monkey is definitely not going to be the bike that's going to be the most enjoyable to do this stuff with and in stock form i think you'd have a definitely have more difficult time i'm not going to say you're not going to be able to do it on a stock monkey but you're probably not going to have that much fun you're going to be slipping all over the place the tires on the stock the stock tires on the monkey are not really the most grippy so getting into these mud patches and stuff you'll feel the back end slip out on you luckily i have shinko mobbers on here that allow me to pretty much go through any of this stuff and maintain grip i've never had this bike slip out once with these uh, tires going through all this mud, so. Oh yeah, why not? But Trail 125 definitely handles this stuff a little bit better. Suspensions, it's got a little bit longer travel to it. And uh, in stock form, it handles it better even than my modified Monkey. And that's probably a good time to say that I modified this bike out pretty much to do this stuff or to try to do this stuff more the best I could. So I have tons of videos on all that stuff. I'm not going to elaborate on it here. I'm just going to continue to trail ride. All right, so we passed through the trails, and the other day I came up here just to check it out. And it was a really beautiful view, so I'm gonna show you that on this bike. This is a little campsite over here that's really nice. kind of creepy in a way because it looks like it's already set up and ready for the next person's fire but there's nobody here or is there so there's a nice view I was talking about and my monkey has developed a high idol for some reason maybe because it's covered with mud I don't know maybe I broke a sensor off somewhere nope not so far so take a quick little photo here of the view beautiful view on the monkey camping good to go all right so I think that's gonna do it for our trail adventures on the Honda monkey for this year and maybe even for good i hate to say it that way but i don't i don't feel as if this is the right bike to bring on an adventure ride so although it's capable of a good adventure and it's fun and it can do it i just don't feel as if it's going to be your best choice obviously it's not your best choice but if if you're buying a honda monkey to 
take on adventures, I would say gear your adventures up to light duty. I mean, it's a perfect campground bike. It's a perfect bike to stick on your RV or the back of your truck if you're going to a racetrack. And it allows you to go around the campsite or the pits and paddock. And it's also street legal, so you're not breaking any rules if you want to run down to the gas station and grab a six pack or up to the bait shop. But for much more than that, I don't know. I mean, obviously I've done these trails and gone pretty rugged with this bike several times. And each time I do it, it has me contemplating why I don't have a dual sport or a dirt bike. I do have vintage motocross. I do have vintage motocross dirt bikes, but they're not something I want to use on trails. I don't want to wear them out, but I'm always contemplating why why is it that I'm doing what I'm doing on this bike when I take it on stuff like this. So that it, that overwhelming feeling needs to be observed. And that's kind of what I'm sharing with you is yeah, the Honda Monkey will do it. Just about any Honda will do what you ask it to do. But there are better choices and I would even if you're if you're locked into the Grom Monkey Trail 125 Cub market, if you're if you're loving the Honda Mini Motos like I do, and your core objective is to do crazy stuff. I would say the monkey is not the choice there. Obviously the Cub, the Super Cub is out of the equation because it's a scooter. But the Trail 125 is going to be the best bet out of the Honda Motos, the Mini Motos, to uh, do stuff like this with. And second to that, I'd say the Grom is even better suited to do this stuff. I, I know it's better suited because I've taken my Grom up here and I've felt way more confident and enjoyed this type of riding way more with the Grom. So unfortunately the video or the, the purpose of this video is to kind of lean you away from taking the Honda Monkey on adventure riding and dual sport stuff. I've learned, learned from me, I've outfitted this bike to do this stuff and spend a decent amount of money doing so. And I, I gotta say, with the money that you put into a Honda Monkey, you can go buy a Honda CRF 300L and go straight off the showroom floor and do any of this stuff way more comfortably and also be street legal doing it. So if you're primarily choosing the Monkey and your primary riding is going to be dirt and trail, go with something else. Uh, it's, it's a lovely bike, it's a blast, but it's just not right for this stuff. And I almost feel bad putting it through this stuff, but it's kind of what I do. I like to torture test my stuff. And um, I think this bike is going to be very happy just being a neighborhood bike, a little play bike for the campground and for, you know, toting around scooting around on the on the beach side or in your neighborhood go see your friends have a couple beers scoot back out don't ever touch a highway with the bike either so that's what you're going to want to keep that honda monkey in mind for if you're finding yourself where i'm at now it's just going to be a host of modifications to feel comfortable doing it and then once you do those modifications you're still not going to be comfortable doing it so I guess that's the purpose of this trip, is to kind of prove that the Honda Monkey is not an adventure bike, it's not a dual sport bike, it's a street bike, and it's going to do best on the street. I mean, this is obvious, clearly, because that's what Honda made it for, but I know there's a lot of people out there like me that had original Honda trail bikes, like the Trail 70 and the little Z series, Z50s, that you could just rip up a trail with those. They were called trail bikes. So I think that's kind of where I got a little misled is that although I, I knew the Honda Monkey was going to be basically like a Grom, I was hoping that it was going to be a trail bike or like the old trail bikes, the old Z-Series, Z-50s. But 
it's totally not. And while I still love it and I'm gonna keep it, it's uh, it's gonna be more of an exercise of making sure I'm taking it to the right places. So with that, we're gonna close this down and I'm gonna talk about the monkey in greater detail and what I'm planning on doing with it, my future plans, I'll do that in another video. And we're gonna end this video with another video because I'm gonna roll right into something that I found up here in upstate New York in Pennsylvania that's pretty cool I want to share with you all so keep watching check out my other videos and my content from this trip and hopefully my voice wasn't too shaky this whole time because it's been a bumpy ride so thanks for sticking with me through the bumps and the shaky voices I appreciate you watching thanks for the likes thanks for the comments let me know what you thought let me know what you think if you have a honda monkey and you do stuff like this if you find it easier to do it or you think you might be better suited on another bike let me know all right well, we're going to close it down so i'm going to go up this rock good times all right everybody thanks for watching see you on the next one